My name is Jay Jackson. I'm the local chairman of uh, New Black Panther Party. Uh, I thought the movie was excellent. The movie really got to the point, so I enjoyed the movie. Um, I was just bringing up something about uh, getting more hardcore with these police officers. Now, when you say hardcore, what exactly do you mean? I'm talking what these other countries do. A lot of times when these police officers are not doing what they're supposed to do, when they misuse their uh, authority, when they misuse their power, these countries will put these police officers on death row. Now, if you can't get death row, put them in penitentiary, life in prison, 15 to 20, just don't put them in prison for like four years and let them go. Give them big prison sentences or put them on death row. You got to get more hardcore. That's the way the new Black Panthers feel because this will continue. It's not going to stop. You know, it happens all the time, um, especially the black population. The black population, we are the number one targets. It will continue to happen. You know, we can get together and talk about it, but it will continue to happen until we get more hardcore with what these police officers are doing. And what they're doing is they're getting away with murder on a consistent basis, and they know they can do it. Now, check this out. They're getting away with murder on camera now. We used to talk about, okay, um, uh, police officers' body cameras. Once they get those body cameras, all this murdering, all this murdering is going to stop. Once they get the body cameras, you're not going to hear about police officers killing people no more. Okay, now we got the body cameras. Guess what? It's, it's right. And sometimes these officers, these officers, dis they disable the cameras. Sometimes they don't disable the cameras. And they will get away with killing people on camera. So that's not even working. When you really think about it, uh, officers, uh, officers who have body cameras, that's not even working no more. So the new Black Panthers, we feel you got to get even more hardcore. Take it to the next level and see what happens then. When these police officers, when they know that they can go to death row too, we feel that will change some things. Yeah. So, you know, right now these officers know that they can commit murder. And like the film said, go home, pay vacation, and go right back to work. See, they, they don't have to worry about anything. So the New Black Panthers, we feel we have to uh, make them realize when you misuse your authority and power, you will pay for it. And we're talking death row even, if necessary, death row. It's not like other countries don't do it. They do. Yeah. They do. They don't play with these police officers, and that's the way we got to get over here. Now, you were talking about body cams and all that. Right. You know, and a lot of a lot of the footage coming out is uh, civilian footage, cell phone footage. Right. And even some of uh, there was recently a guy whose uh, his girlfriend live streamed uh, his the police killing him on on uh, on tape. Right. I don't know if you saw that one. Right. And I can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but. Yeah, there's a couple of them, you know, so what do you, I mean, like you said, with the with the video footage and all that stuff, you said they're still getting away with it on camera. Right. And would you be going to the death penalty, like, you know, like uh, the moderator, Mr. Stubbs, had said, just, you know, let's start baby steps. Any form of accountability, would you be satisfied with any form of accountability? Or does I, it need to go extreme, extreme, like you said, hardcore? I th I'm going to, I'm going to say hardcore. Me being a black man... Me knowing what I know, I would say more hardcore. Okay. We, we have tried this, we have tried that. I want to see more hardcore laws. On top of that, we feel that... Now, every, when you say hardcore, you're not saying vigilante justice. You're saying you want the courts to deal with it? I feel like this. Okay, I'm glad that you brought up this vigilante justice thing. When you push anybody in the corner, when you push anybody in the corner, eventually... They're going to start fighting back. That's how our country was found. Right, right. In the community, a lot of people in the community, they're starting to feel that way more and more. You keep pushing somebody in the corner, they're going to come out fighting eventually. They're going to get tired of getting hit. Yeah. So it's no secret. A lot of people are saying shoot back. That's what a lot of people are saying now. Because people are getting tired of being abused, of being murdered, of of whatever when it comes yeah. to uh, local law enforcement. So more and more you're starting to hear people say, 
shoot back. Hey, to hell with it. We're, we're tired of getting pushed. We're tired of getting murdered. We're tired of police. We're tired of going to funerals. It's almost a, it's almost a year to the day. It's about a year and a week from the Dallas shooting. Right. Where the guy took it in his own hands. He took it. He, and you're going to see more of that, I think. You're going to see more of that. I, I know what you're talking about, uh, what happened at that Black Lives uh, protest, protest in Dallas. Fire. And, he, and he was ex-military. And he understood guerrilla warfare. Yeah. See, he understood guerrilla warfare. I think he took out six police officers, six right? Or eight, yeah. Six or eight police officers. That that was ex-military. So he he understood, in my opinion. And by the way, we consider this young man who actually did this. A lot of people might not, but a lot of people do. We consider him a hero, especially in the black community. We consider him a hero for what he did. So uh, we feel that it's going to go even more towards guerrilla warfare when it comes to these police officers. If some drastic measures aren't taken. Yeah, if, if more drastic measures aren't taken, like for example putting them on death row, why not? If, if, if that is not done, if it's not done, you are going to see more and more people in the community, and I know for a fact in the black community, you're going to see more people doing what happened in Dallas, Texas, what happened in like Louisiana when those officers were killed. There's been and, a lot of ambush yeah, attacks. A lot of ambush attacks. Think that's out of anger, out Why? of the police's lack of accountability, lack of justice. I agree. Say. I agree. I agree. You're going to see more and more of that guerrilla warfare type thing because uh, people in the black community, I tell you right now, they're saying more and more, we're at war and we are at war. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what we're. Right. right, we have no, you know, it's like we're not getting our justice. We're not getting our justice. So now in the black community, they're saying more and more, we're at war. And I guarantee you, you will see more of that guerrilla type, ambush type thing when it comes to police officers. So you might say, or whoever might say, okay, well, that's not the way for it to be handled, that's not the way for it to be done. But at the same time, in the community, in the black community, we're saying, we're saying um, what they're doing towards us as far as the police, that's wrong. Yeah. That's not the way to handle the public. Uh -huh. You're supposed to be protecting us. You're supposed to be serving us. You're supposed to be working for us. You're not supposed to be out here just doing what you want to do. What about outside the black community? Outside the black community, I think they're starting to realize, hey, it's a problem everywhere, but... It's, it's, it's really a problem in the black community. Everybody's going through it. Everybody's going through it. Like, for example, this um, white lady, was it uh, Minnesota, where she was recently shot by a police officer, murdered by a she police officer? The police. She called the police. And we feel that she was murdered. This was a white lady. Yeah. She was murdered. And like you said, she called the police. And they murdered this lady. So, so we're watching, it was it Washington or Minnesota? And this was a black police officer? Okay, well, okay, but the white lady. Uh -huh. It was a black police officer that killed her okay. in Minnesota. Minnesota. I'm talking about the one in Minnesota. Yeah. Okay, so now the black population, what we're doing now, we're watching to see what's going to happen with this case. With the white lady being murdered by the black cop. See, we're, we're sitting back trying to wait and see what kind of reaction. Yeah, different standards, right. Since it's a black police officer that murdered a white lady. Uh -huh. So let's see what happens with this situation, with this case. Has he been charged? Does anyone he ha as far as I know, he hasn't been charged. He hasn't been charged yet. So especially the new Black Panthers, we're sitting back and we're waiting to see what they're going to do to this black police officer when it comes to uh, a black police officer murdering somebody who's white. Because what we're expecting to see is a bigger outcry, a bigger outcry. Oh, this was a white lady murdered by a black police officer. And we're also wondering if they're going to go on GoFundMe and support this black police officer for murdering this white lady. You know, yeah. go on GoFundMe page and... and uh, now, speaking of GoFundMe, what are your thoughts on the officer out here that had the GoFundMe yeah. page in the Tashi case? Okay, as far as I'm concerned, that's crooked. That's crooked, that's evil. Should no police officer or anybody who commits murder be using a GoFundMe page? 
to support somebody, as far as I'm concerned, who should be in a penitentiary right now. That's wrong. GoFundMe was not set up for anybody to use it that way. So I totally disagree with this officer, and I think it's over 20,000 or... Yeah, I forget the number. It's the up number? There. It's, it's up, up it's there. Grown since the last we saw it. And they're using GoFundMe to uh, get money for this officer's legal fees, which is totally wrong. Now, if I was to do something like that, it would be on... It would be everywhere. Well, like you see, I handed my card. I own a bail bonds office. Right. right. It, and I've seen a lot of, like, publicly GoFundMe pages. Like, right. People set up for, like, neighborhood guys. Right. Like, to raise bail money. Right. And right away, right away, the, the actual GoFundMe themselves, mm -hmm. they take it down. And, and, that's, and that's what but I was... they say it's not for legal fees or right. anything else. It's supposed to be originally for, like, funeral costs and medical right. expenses. Right. Well, automatically, they should have they stopped it. I don't know if it's still up. They should return all the money they should return all the money or give it to charity or something but as far as GoFundMe that's that's totally wrong that's totally wrong and what was your name again my name is Jay Jackson, Jay Jackson. local chairman New Black Panther Party here in Las Vegas um, and I want to send a, um, uh, a uh, heartfelt condolences to the uh, family of Tashi Farmer uh, we're doing what we can do behind the scenes to help the family out. Uh, sad situation. Yeah. Sad situation, but I, but I really enjoyed the movie. Appreciate it. Thanks for talking with me. Thank Black you. power. Black power. Power to the people.